for our present study, we compared uh, two subsequently conducted phase three trials from the German-speaking myeloma multicenter group, the trials HD4 and MM5. We aimed at comparing two different maintenance strategies, either, either bortezomib, which um, has been given for up to two years in the GMMG HD4 trial, and lenalidomide, which has been given for up to two years in the GMMG MM5 trial. So the aim was to compare if there are any subgroups of myeloma patients that might benefit from either maintenance strategy with regard to progression-free or overall survival. We did that because little data is available on comparing different classes of maintenance therapies, especially um, when using novel agents. So the key findings of the study were that baseline characteristics were well balanced between the two groups. However, the autologous stem cell transplantation policies differed between the trials. So within the HD4 trial, a tandem transplantation was scheduled for all patients, whereas a response dependent um, transplantation policies were applied within the MM5 trial. Therefore, the um, transplant tandem transplantation rates differed between the two trials. The HD4 trial um, had 90.6% of tandem transplant, whereas the um, GMMG MM5 trial only had 33.3% of tandem transplant. Other characteristics were well balanced. Based on this, prior to the start of maintenance therapy in each trial, we had um, slightly different um, response rates with higher rates of combined complete responses and near complete responses in the lenalidomide group from the MM5 trial as compared to the bortezomib group in the HD4 trial. However, Progression-free and overall survival between the two overall cohorts did not differ significantly. On subgroup analysis, we made an approach where we adjusted for the differences in the, in the responses prior to the start of maintenance therapy. However, even upon adjusting for responses, um, we did not find any differences in subgroups, for example, patients with high-risk cytogenetics, elevated LDH levels in the serum or um, high ISS stages on progression-free survival. However, when looking with the same model at overall survival, we did find some differences. Patients who received lenalidomide maintenance appeared to benefit significantly compared to bortezomib if they had an ISS stage 2 or an elevated LDH or low-risk cytogenetics or no renal impairment at initial diagnosis. On the other hand, we found borderline significant overall survival benefit for patients who received bortezomib if they had a deletion 17P13 or renal impairment at diagnosis. Overall, our data implicate that, as previously shown, different subgroups of multiple myeloma patients might benefit from a tailored um, maintenance approach and we um, hope that this will be evaluated in further clinical trials in the near future.